Hello everyone, and welcome to an MO7 slash Moretti production. Uh, as you may notice, there's a lot of water in front of me here, because we are playing one of my all-time favorite oceanic survival games, Subnautica. Yes, it even rivals Ark for my, um, affection. And, if only uh, it was multiplayer. Technically, there is a mod in it that makes it multiplayer, but it is highly unstable. There's also a mod that makes Skyrim a multiplayer as well, but it's got the same issue. Yeah. Yeah, plus, both of you being Dragonborn would be kind of OP. I mean, you could go completely different ways in the world. It's actually neat how it works. <laughs> yeah. Hey, our copyright claim to dispute has been handled, or not handled, has been uh, submitted. Really, it has. Hmm. Yeah, I read that email off earlier. I'm just going back to my emails, and it's still there because I haven't cleared it. Oh, okay. Well, um, I guess I should go ahead and start a new game. We're going to be playing on survival settings. Obviously, not hardcore because I'm not a little masochist like Charlie is. Also, as hey, I was hey, saying I'm before, not, I'm not yes, even you are, that yes you are, yes you not are, yes you are. You married a bad. woman who beats you with the hilt of a sword. Hey, that's only when y'all aren't around. She's you got to show off. You married a woman whose hobbies include rolling over and suffocating you while you aren't looking. Yes. You married a woman who has, at one point or another, suggested eating you. Huh? At this point, I'm becoming more and more farcical, but you get my drift. You married her because she mistreats you. Light. You're bad, Charlie. Something like love for her. And the loading screen is taking entirely too long. Come on, Subnautica, get off of your ass and begin moving. Oh, there we go. Press any button to continue. Attention. Oh, failure imminent. Oh, look. Yes, you do that. The ship, the ship is, is apparently not good. We're running. We're getting into our... Uh oh, launch in three, two, one. Wait, what? What? What the fuck? No, no. Up, oh, big explosion in. Up, oh, there it goes. I was talking about the big ship, right? Yep, big ship just blew the hell up, and we are in a little life pod falling out of the sky. Oh crap! There's metal shit flying all over the damn place. Say, up, oh, and I've been hit. I'm out. And I'm woken up, and everything is on fire! Oh no! And I'm stuck in my safety harness. Quick! Uh, Quick, pick up the fire extinguisher! Put all this shit out! Before all my stuff burns! There we go, much better. I thought the ship exploded way late. Nope, ship explodes! Just as you get there, booting in emergency mode. Hmm, okay. Altera. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PD. Well, I'd love to know what an unoptimal outcome is. To keep you alive on an alien. I mean, we all. Please know. refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. It says that I have suffered minor head trauma, and that this is an optimal outcome. I would be very interested to know what an unoptimal outcome is. Your head come off. Oh wow, look at the pretty world. So beautiful, and all I have is this stupid fire extinguisher. And we are now up to episode 15 of what we recorded yesterday. So five. Well, I wasn't saying that for a reason in case this publishes before that. Um, that's fine. I don't really don't care that much. It's terribly, terribly cut and about 
one hour segment. Because I'm not doing no... Oh, low on oxygen! It'd be six more episodes. That's worry about. Yeah. Hmm. So I learned something yesterday. Wow, you learn? Jeez, I never just thought... Just a little. <laughs> I learned something yesterday. What did you learn? My computer can read PDFs, not like just read it, but physically read it aloud to me. I think mine can too, actually. I'm Okay, never mind. Oxygen! <laughs> Not ready to suffocate to death just yet. This is the thing about PDFs is it's not a text document. They don't like computers don't just realize that there's words on the page because they see it as actually a bunch of images. Google Chrome actually can't even do it. I have to use Edge for it to work. Microsoft but it can do Edge, it. yeah. Yeah, Edge is the only uh, program that I have, at least that that I know of, that I have that will actually read it. Read PDFs too. Sounds yes. about now, right. Edge really is a very impressive, you know, step yes. forward as far as things go, but... Yes. Now, I need to know if you could hear this. What? Can hear what? Joe Mama? Can you hear this? I, I don't... I don't know what you're... I don't hear anything. You haven't said any... Why is there a fucking volcanic vent in the safe shallows. Okay, so I'm going to assume you can't hear the woman reading off this PDF to me. No, I, I definitely cannot. What, what, when the hell was this a thing? I don't... Uh, when the safe shallows became not so safe shallows. But, this wasn't here the last time I played this, which is like literally yesterday. And it wasn't there the tomorrow either. Usually it just has air bubbles, not volcanic vents. Like, what the <laughs> shit, game? Why did you put me right next to a volcanic vent, you assholes? Does it really spawn you in a random spot? Well, not usually, no! Okay, I didn't think... And there's this poor random peeper covered in floaters. Uh oh Not the poor random peeper. A peeper's... That kind of sounds like some kind of shit you would do, put floaters on a peeper. Charlie, do you even know what a peeper is? Yes. What is it? I, it's a fish with, like, one eye that swims really fucking fast. No, it doesn't swim really damn fast. You can catch it by hand. Maybe I'm thinking of a different fish. There really isn't a fish that swims that fucking fast. I mean... I don't recall there ever being a volcanic vent right here in the middle. Neither have I, neither do I, so... Yeah, I mean, this doesn't seem like something that has happened before. Nope. This may be a game glitch, I'm not sure. It's very possible. So I'm debating on listening to you and this mini... I wouldn't even call this a campaign, this gauntlet um, PDF for my campaign, just to kind of know about what's, what's going on with it. Okay. Oh, Ooh, I like that. Oh. Caught a glimpse of it, I like it, okay. Oh. So, I'm debating on listening to you and at the same time we're listening to you and just playing a game. Well, maybe consider playing a game, because, you know, I'd kind of like to have some running commentary since I've got you in the call. Yeah, but, you know, if I go to play a game, I'm just going to get focused on that, and it's just going to be, eh, uh, die, 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 damn it, I died. That's pretty much what it's going to well, be. Well, that, that's part of the whole reason why we include you in these commentaries, to listen to you fail. That's true. I mean... It's not like it's got a whole fucking story to it. I read the last one without Edge. 
and I'll, I'm, I'm fine. I'm actually, I feel fairly prepared for it. I just got to get a few bit of assets for it that it wasn't um, sent with, that wasn't available. Mm-hmm. So, like, I've got to go get cultist um, assets and figure something else out for something. Okay, so I have an oxygen tank. I need to get some swim fins. Which for that would require me to find a source of an oil-based compound. I have no idea where the hell that volcanic vent came from. The safe shallows have never been like this before. Maybe it spawned me in a different safe shallows. The map is always the same, yes, but... Okay, that, that should be enough creep vine seed clusters for me to make some... Uh, rubber and lubricant with. So now there's only... Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm spawned a little too far over to the right. That's probably what the problem is here. Because I almost never come across that volcanic vent. I don't know where the hell that came from. Yeah. Let's see if I can lure one of the banes of my existences out. The most annoying creature in Subnautica, in my opinion. The legend. The no, no. Uh -huh. The legendary crash fish. Huh? The legendary crash fish. The thing that makes Markiplier's Subnautica videos so very satisfying to watch. Uh, I guess I don't know what fish this is, actually. It's a special fish that you don't normally find out swimming around. What you have to do to find a crash fish is... Wow, I made it all the way over here to the eat something. They're telling me to eat something. I don't need to eat. I have access to fish out here. Here, I'll grab this boomerang fish. Yeah. Um, the crash fish only live in caves. Mm. Your favorite. Yeah. That makes... I hate caves. Makes it especially uh, awkward in games where you have an oxygen maker. Yeah, I was always fascinated with the deep caves. Yeah, you know, the deepest cave uh, right now in the world, I believe, is in... Uh... Oh, shit! Found one! Ah! The Challenger's deep is the current deepest cave in the world. The Challenger? I'm talking about real, real life. Oh, yeah, the deepest one is a uh, cave in, Mexi in New Mexico. It, oh, deepest cave, yeah, I'm thinking deepest part of the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think they have found the yeah, bottom of the cave you're talking about, though. No, they haven't, and it's very dangerous to actually go looking for the bottom, you know, because it's, mm -hmm. it's a cave, and a good portion of it's under the water. There's even yep. extremophile bacteria in there who literally just survive off the rock. They digest the rock because nutrients and air are so sparse down there. Yes, poor peeper. I, I need to free you eventually. So I found some cave sulfur. That's good. Yeah. The only so, way you get cave sulfur in this game is to find a crash fish in its little nest in the cave. And then have it chase you and explode. Oh, that thing. And then you turn around to try and, you know, fix it. Yep. And grab his, his cave sulfur. But yeah. So what were you saying? Um. Sorry. I'm, I'm trying to keep up my train of thought. Uh, I've always been fascinated with the underwater caves in that game. It's just, it was... It was always super fascinating to me, but I also know um, that you have to get the uh, 
I can't even think of what it's called anymore, but the submarine in there, and then you also have to have the mech suit. Uh, yeah, yeah. The vehicle you're talking about is called the, um, Cyclops. Yeah. Oh, actually, I should probably cook this boomerang. Do I have the achievement for reach? I'm pretty sure I have the achievement on reach. Charlie is playing Halo. Alert the media. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember what all achievements I have going on. Like, I know I have... Okay, let's repair this little sparking, smoking panel. Secondary Pretty sure I have the achievement uh, mo uh, for Monument of All My Sins. A monument to All My Sins. Pretty sure I have that achievement. Okay then, we got a radio message. This is a distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to location 9. Nine, 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 hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Oh, great. So rescue will be sent basically never. <laughs> okay, so I need two glass, four titanium, and silver ore to make an enhanced oxygen um, delivery system. So that... Yep. That, that kind of... You know what? Actually, I should look to see if a scanner is available. Because I kind of need one to be able to do what I need to do. So I need a battery and titanium. I have... I should have titanium. Oh, no. Just have metal salvage. Never mind. Let me turn that into titanium. Only things I've completed Pillar of Autumn, and I know that's not true. So, okay. That means I need to start on Halo. Fuck that level. Okay. Go on easy then. with zero skulls in case that is the whole problem. We have some mushrooms. Now, let me make a battery. A scanner. Why do you need that battery? Just hook it up to the water. It'll be fine. What, what are you talking about, Charlie? A hi hydro... Not hydroponics, fuck me up. Uh, You're thinking of hydroelectric power. Yeah, that. But there's just one problem, Charlie. You actually have to have a power cell for hydroelectric power to work. No, no, even man, then, you're, the water you're already... has to be flowing in one direction. I mean, After you're all, moving. If it was flowing back and forth, it would actually be able to do the opposite of generate power. I mean, you will be moving, so. Mobile vehicle. Just swim in the same direction. Oh, Charlie. Now, there actually is something like that in the game, ironically. Uh, yes. It's. I, I think it's like flippers or something, ain't it? That yes. sit there and charge your um, yeah. charge your little yeah. uh, thing they, as they you go. They charge your batteries and whatever held item is in your hand while you're wearing them. And I am being chased by a stalker. God damn it. Hey, it's your favorite. Stalkers are not my favorite. I'm trying to remember what a stalker is. I think I remember. Uh, I can't say. It, it's basically this long, gangly-looking fish. It actually reminds me of you a little bit. And oh, uh, you stopped it. I you? knew you was gonna say that. I knew you was gonna make a comment about his. Yeah, and it has earlier. this huge underbite and these huge, gnarly-looking teeth. Hey. And they basically. Acquired. Uh, if the shoe fits, don't put your junk in it. I mean, I had all my teeth fixed and done. Yeah, well... I spent four fucking years of braces in my mouth, you jackass. Well, you know how hard that is for me. Well, maybe... Maybe you shouldn't have... 
Being so damn handsome. Mm. No. I was actually going to say, taking them off. Ah, uh, uh, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know how to cut deep, Charlie. I know how to cut deep. I could tell. Okay, my dad actually has braces now. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of people. Ironic. Have, this is this is an interesting topic. A lot of people have actually, um, you know, just backslid into wearing braces again. And you know, I I don't really get what the whole thing is. I never had to wear tooth straighteners or braces. I just, you know, clenched my teeth in the proper direction. So they suck. Yeah, they do. I'm, I'm sure having pieces of metal in your mouth New are not inherently good. It's definitely annoying, especially since I knocked off a brace on the very first night of me having them. Wow, that sounds awful. It actually hurt a little bit. And then it was annoying because then I had a loose piece of wire just hanging in my mouth for a few days while I waited to go back to the orthodontist. But what happened is, you know, uh, cornflake candy? Yeah! Uh, my stepmom cooked some, and I absolutely love cornflake candy. So I was eating it, and I'm not, you're not supposed to because it's sticky. Especially for like the first few days while the glue is still fully curing. Okay, I and need a sea glide, which means I need lubricant, copper wire, and a battery. Continue. So that 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 means I pulled one off and almost swallowed the brace. Wow, that's bad. Yeah, it's a good thing I, I bit into it, otherwise I would have definitely swallowed it. Okay, I need lube. Hey, that's your favorite thing to use in the morning. That's not my favorite thing to use in the morning. Oh, sorry, night. That's not my favorite thing to use in the night, either. Damn, are you just going in dry? Charlie, you do realize, unlike you, I am not a man right? I'm just saying. You gotta lube her up sometimes. Oh, Charlie. How ashamed everyone is of you. Don't even bother to try and nope. defend. There's no, there, there, there's no, nope, there's there, no reason to deny no, it. There's no, yeah, because people are ashamed of you. I, I am an absolute man whore, and I will stick my dick in my wife any day. Yes, and your wife say that. will say. I say that is she that me, you freaking bitch. I, I say that, and that's not true at all. No, it's completely yeah, true. There. No, there no, are some days are I wouldn't. Pitch no, there are some days I wouldn't. Oh yeah, what day is that? Uh, normally when she's a vampire. Okay. Now you see, you've taken it a step too far. I have to remove you now. That I mean, you asked. Yes, but that's not. I know. That's not appropriate, Charlie. Is anything on my channel really appropriate? Is my channel not listed as not for children? Well, Look, I'm Charlie, over here shooting people in the face. There's a difference here between being not for children and being this not plan, appropriate. Increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pass. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've talked about sex a good deal somewhere on this channel. So I need two glass for titanium and silver ore. That reminds me, we need to uh, talk about scheduling next uh, Minecraft still. Yeah, we do. Um, I'm gonna talk to my stepmom about next Saturday. You can watch the baby if you could, if that's a good weekend for you. Yeah, I, th I think I could, I could work that in there somewhere. I may take. A Come on, Pelican, drop it, drop it, Pelican, drop it. Give drop, me. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like. Give it here. here. Give it to me. Girls. Give it to me. No, get, get over here. I'm not over there. I'm over here. Pelican, give it to him. God. Damn. Drop it. Give it to me. Drop it already. Charlie, Charlie, don't you just hate it when your pelican doesn't want to give you oral? 30 seconds. I'm just trying to get the warthog. So apparently they fixed it. Apparently. Ooh, in this bedroom. Uh, no, only kibbles is in here. 
Well, he's talking about pelicans and warthogs getting into him, you know. So apparently, Charlie's like totally into bestiality. No, they how it did, however, seem to have fixed the issue where the pelican would drop the warthog on you if you punched it and moved around. Oh, I've located seamoth fragments and bioreactor fragments. Good, that's the like first thing you really need, I guess, really. Uh, no, there are other things I need. 30 seconds. Really, the seamoth isn't a valuable thing to get really oh, no, early it, on? It is a valuable thing, but the problem is it takes a little while to get the resources together for it. Oh my god, I need to rush to the surface and there's a big-ass reef back in the way. Oxygen. That's always fun. Well, it's not really all that fun at all. The reef back is just in the way. Hopefully I don't blow my warthog off of, uh, off of a cliff this time like I do every time. Yeah. Thankfully, reef backs are the only thing that are so big here that even the leviathans don't mess with them. Yes. Oh, scanner room fragment. I've always wanted to know more about the reef backs, but I mean, there's only limited data on them still. Well, no, I say not... still, there's only limited data on them. Period. No, not really. The reef backs are supposedly like the sauropods of the sea in this world, or rather, I suppose a better example would be the whales. I know that. Big, gentle, and really, they're so big that they're more of a um environment for other species you know they're so yeah. big in fact that many species of flora and fauna actually dwell upon their back entirely Oxygen efficiency decreased. yes I thought I could skip this cutscene why am I having to watch this what the fuck why do I not have any candy in Got here with me today? Silver. Need some candy. Got some gold. Got some lead. So, question. What? Your cousin have ginger ale? Uh, my cousin? Yes. I don't know. Why does? She, why are you asking if she owns oh. ginger ale? No, not owns. If she could have. Oh, like, like I a think drink. she could, Charlie, but you also do need to realize something. I know you don't know everything, it's just... No, I don't know everything, but there's something you should realize here. Um, what? Just because she is diabetic does not mean she has no sense of taste. If something tastes like crap, she'll probably just drink water instead. <laughs> well, it, it was... Because okay, so... she's a person. Jeez. I'm aware of this. No, what 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 it is is so Cassie got this little uh, ping pong uh, bounce thing where you bounce a ball into the ping pong uh, cup or whatever. Fuck words, please. Beer pong. Not, it's a beer like pong that. Set. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much like that. A really small one. And she wanted to do a thing of like ginger ale where we bounce the um, ping pong balls into the cups and then seconds. you drink the ones you got. But. But why would we want ginger ale? I don't know. I don't know why she said ginger ale. Ginger ale sucks balls. I mean, I like ginger ale. Well, that's what's wrong with you. But there's so many better drinks. Yeah, of course there's so many better drinks, Charlie. Okay, I think I may have enough to make... Yeah, I do have glass. All right. All right we, we could just drink Sprite. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of ha have an idea of why she said ginger ale, because it is something that it's not so bad for people or, or with her we, condition. Or we could just, you know, straight up shit in a cup and have you drink it. No, no. Yeah. That don't sound like a good idea. It sounds dirty. Yes, and gross. Well, involving you in anything really is a bad idea, but... That's what we're at these days. Hey, I thought that was someone else. That involving no. them was a bad hey, idea. I'm going, I'm going to actually end the recording here for the moment. I'll be back in a few.